What is going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Noah Colvin and today we got a filthy, filthy arm day. Um, I want to take y'all through, it's going to be similar to the last video, but it's going to be arms. But like, the thing is like with arms, like a lot of people have different like bicep insertions, different tricep insertions. I feel like for the most part, a lot of people have, here I got to roll up these windows. This guy is just over here mowing the hell out of that grass. Um, but I feel like a lot of people have different insertions when it comes to their arms. Like, I mean, obviously, your genetics play a big point in how you're going to look. But I just want to take y'all through an arm day because I know that my arms are a genetic strong point of mine. And I think my arms are the best part about my physique. So I want to add any tips and tricks I can to help y'all in y'all's fitness journey. And to just show you the little nuances and little thing, little changes you can do to make the big difference. Because... I see a lot of people, they do tricep pushdowns wrong. They're not, you know, tugging in their elbows when they curl. So they're not hitting the right head of the bicep, which, which they want to grow, whatever head that may be, short or long. So we're going to run y'all through an arm day. Man, I'm feeling good today. It is beautiful outside here. Check it out for y'all. Blue skies. Oh, man. It just it just calls for, for good vibes and big ass arms so we're gonna go ahead and get in the gym we're gonna get warmed up with some bands because you should always be warming up with bands to start any movement or any dynamic stretch to start to get the blood flowing to get the muscle activated and ready to go so i'm going to go ahead get in the gym get warmed up and i will see you on the first workout all right what's going on guys so we're back with another voiceover i always like to start with some type of like rope tricep push down I feel like this gets my elbows warmed up, ready for other movements, whether I'm working the short head or long head. But in this movement in particular, I'm getting my lateral head warmed up, which is the outside portion of your tricep. Everybody knows that the tricep makes up two thirds of your arm. So you really want to work your tricep and focus on keeping your elbows pinned to your side to where you're, there's not a lot of emphasis on your elbows and you're putting all the pressure on your tricep. So here, I am literally going to where I am doing partials. I feel like once you get to that boiling point where you can't do a full rep, you need to make sure you're doing your partials. For this movement, I like to do a couple warm-up sets, a few working sets, and a few failure sets, and I really want to focus on controlling that eccentric, so I put all the emphasis on my tricep. Now on to some biceps. Right here, I am pinning my elbows to my side. I am focusing on fully contracting and squeezing the bicep, and I'm not swinging up the weight. I feel like it's acceptable to swing up the weight once you get towards the end of your sets and you're trying to crank out a few more reps, but right here, I want to focus on bringing it all the way up and slowly bringing it all the way down i like to do one arm at a time and then i like to do both to end it just so i can get the full pump and full stretch full squeeze promoting as much blood flow to the bicep as possible and as i've told you guys before i am a big dumbbell guy over barbell i feel like there's way more manipulation and more mind muscle connection whenever you do dumbbells because you can internally or externally rotate your wrist to hit whatever uh, portion of the bicep you like whatever head long or short but you want to make sure you're doing your curls because that is the best way to grow your biceps had to take off the pump cover because i was feeling pretty pumped up you know i don't want to keep it on the whole time and the arms were juicy right here so as you can tell like i said i really want to control the weight this is like so big because i see so many guys in my gym who just swing up the weight and i wanted to show you both sides so you can see how i am just really focusing on that squeeze and stretch all the way up all the way down to ensure i'm getting the most out of this movement now we have an easy bar tricep push down this is going to hit the long head of your tricep the first movement i did the the rope push down hits the lateral head of your tricep which is the outer portion um but the long head like i said is the meat of the tricep you really want to focus on like i said just pinning those elbows down there and bringing the bringing the uh easy bar all the way up to about head level and pushing it all the way down to where you get that full contraction and contraction in your bicep don't be doing half reps with these you need to be going full range of motion to get the most out of this movement so you are not wasting your time and if you poke out um your elbows a little bit like keep them in front of you it's going to put more emphasis on the tricep so you are not uh having all of that elbow pain or engaging the elbow too much to where it starts wearing and tearing on your elbows arms are feeling juicy had to hit a little quick flex for y'all so like i said 
I like to do a few warm-up sets, a few working sets, and a few failure sets. When I do my failure sets, I try to go up as heavy as possible with control, and then I'll drop the weight to like a drop set so I can get that full range of motion and really just put that tricep under as much pressure as possible to get that full burn. Now we have some uh, Smith Machine Peak Bicep Curls. I haven't done these in a long time, and man, I need to start incorporating these again in my routine. This is going to work the short head of your bicep to give you that peak whenever you flex, um, to give you that little tech deck ramp look that everybody likes. But these, you just want, like I said, keep it keeping your elbows pinned to your side, but you also want to keep your hands straight as possible and focus on driving through your bicep and really making sure you're going all the way down, all the way up with control. Like I, I really want to like make this a point of emphasis that control is major whenever you're trying to grow a muscle, because if you don't have control, then you're wasting your time and you're not getting that mind muscle connection you need. And you know, I had a burnout with some tricep uh, kickbacks. I love this movement because if you know how to do it correctly, if you just keep your tricep in the same plane of motion as your body and you don't focus on kicking it back up to where it's hard on your elbow, you get the craziest pump from this. And look at the squeeze at the top of each rep I'm getting right here. It's engaging the lateral head, which is the outside portion of that tricep. And the long head is firing just as good as the lateral head. You want to like really like bend over and focus on putting uh, your arm on a platform so you can get the full stretch, full squeeze of this motion. And now we have the physique, how it's looking. We had the arm pump. Um, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm sitting at 180 pounds flat. So we are down 17 pounds from peak bulk. And uh, we're looking at competing in October. So um, we're just going to see how we look getting down to 175. And then we're going to main gain a little bit. And then we might go through a little mini bulk to try to put on a little more muscle. And then we're going to go through a full prep, 10 to 12 week prep. October 21st, I will be competing in my first bodybuilding show, so I really appreciate the support. All right, guys, that is going to be uh, the end of the video. I feel like y'all get so much out of these informative videos, these informative vo voiceovers I do. I haven't got a mic for my camera yet, so whenever I do get a mic, I'll actually take y'all through a day to where I am mic'd up, and whatever muscle group I'm hitting that day, I will take y'all through all my tips and tricks I've learned throughout my lifting experience to get the most out of your movements and to get that mind muscle connection you need to grow whatever muscle group I'm hitting that day. But... I really, I like just, the support has been unreal lately and I just really appreciate all the ones who take the time out of their day to watch these videos because this is what I love to do and I want to help anybody uh, along in their fitness journey that is just, you know, wanting to get started or doesn't know where to start or doesn't know how to actually work out or has been in the gym for a while and just, you know, kind of wants to figure out better ways to work out, more efficient ways to work out so they're not wasting their time in the gym. So I'm not going to hold y'all anymore, but if you did like the video, go ahead, give it a like if you want to comment anything about the video that you enjoyed or something you have questions about leave something in the comments and please make sure to subscribe to the channel it is free and make sure to turn on that bell notification when we upload every sunday six o'clock est i love you guys go kill this week and i will see y'all next sunday